Hi, hello, welcome. So, in today's video, I'm doing a Sims 4 speed build. I currently have the video playing on my laptop so I can see, like, where it's, you know, like, where I'm going to be talking about. And I'm also going to be talking about, like, where my YouTube channel has gotten so far and, like, what I plan on doing with it in the future. Like, I rebuilt this house. Like, I didn't rebuild it because you can't edit the outside walls. This is from the amazing, uh, let me look at the name. Zifron? I think that's how you say it. Zifrine? I'm not sure. But, my recording just went black. Why did my recording just go black? But at this part of the video, I am adding the roofs so that way I can try to get it the way I want but of course I failed miserably at getting it the way I wanted it which is okay because it's the sims and you know but sorry if this video is a little all over the place I'm not working with the script and just going off the top of my head I want to start posting a lot more so I figured this is a good start is me do the do a sims 4 challenge build and go from there um, I also, uh, at this part of the video, I'm putting the back deck on. I was going to do a wraparound porch, but decided against that because it didn't look good, in my opinion. But I'm adding all the doors, which we'll be taking out later because I want, I wanted the top floor to be the way it is because this is supposed to be a multi-generational house which I didn't add a room for like the grandparents to stay or whatnot but I figured like oh your grandparents like you moved away from your grandparents because or your family moved away from your grandparents because you know they wanted to be independent and be on their own rather than have their grandparents shadow over them but you know I also modeled this house very much off of what I wanted to do, like if I were to live there, what I would have. So like the wallpaper, I want the wallpaper in the living room so much. Like I love it so unbelievably much. I also go back and redo the front deck because I don't like, I didn't like how it looked and stuff. So and I didn't like the hardwood floor I used on it, but I, struggled a lot with the roof of it. I also took out the coffee table later in the video for a fireplace, which doesn't match up with the, where the chimney is, but I was like, it's the Sims, and if, like, it could have something run at the floor, it could, you know, something like that to make it, like, where, you know, and... I was like, oh, this little back room can be the, like, little hallway area. And I was like, no, I'll have it right in front of the front door, because I think that would look good. And then I realized I'd have to redo all of the top floor, because my Sims wouldn't be able to enter it. And I was like, that's too much work. I ain't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I like the way the top floor looks, honestly. I would love to, like I said, live in this house. I think it would be amazing. I also replaced the full walls and made them half walls. Later on the in the video. Um, but then I just... just I put the stairs in and was like, oh, well, I like the way this looks, so we're going to go off this. And I decided to make the kitchen fully enclosed. Like, there's no, you know, windows or anything for it. I also tried to do, like, fancy lighting, but that, nope. <laughs> I could not figure out a way to do that where it would look good, so I just put the little, the little tiny 
ring light things, you know? I just put them in there. I think I did put uh, the fancy light in the kitchen because the kitchen's op like awesome. I'm so proud of this kitchen. I don't know why. <laughs> but I also put in like a variety of shelves because, you know, shelves, they are really not the same. And that room behind the stairs, I uh, put like, that's going to be the ch like children's bathroom, the main bathroom for like guests and stuff. I also got custom pictures off of the gallery like paintings but I had to remove those later on because it counted as custom content and that was against the rules of the challenge and I you know didn't really want to go against the rules of the challenge I also got some film and portraits off of the gallery that stayed in the house. Uh, you can also see me frequently saving because I didn't want my game to crash because I'm on my laptop because my computer broke and I uh, didn't want to lose all of this progress that I made. But I put cut racks in front of the door because cut racks, you know, you gotta have cut racks by the, like, by the door. So that way you can just throw your coat on the cut rack and be done with it. <laughs> I also love the way the kit, like the kitchen hallway and living room turned out. I'm also really proud of the study. Like, I really, really love the way it looks. Like, I would love to be sitting there making YouTube videos with little plants and stuff behind me and you know I also struggled for a long time picking a bookcase because none of them looked right to me none of them looked good and the ones that did look good didn't look good with a plant or were too big or I finally settled on this bookcase and added some little cacti uh, little plant two other plants and like fully cluttered it up to make it look nice. I was gonna add a third plant but decided no I'll add a fireplace and make have this little plant. It's a little fly trap or cow plant. Uh I had decided to have that on there instead. We uh one of the I was gonna have just two beds and have like like a twins room and I was like no I'll have a boy and a girl room and make it two different colors because you know why not because like children have to share rooms in real life and I was like well they can share this room and then I was like when I was working on the upstairs I was like wait there's no room for toddlers because the upstairs room is for uh teenagers and like young adults so I was like well there's no room for any children. I also had to remove the bears because they made the beds not like where they could sleep in them. And as I said all that custom those custom paintings I had to get rid of. But I might do a thing where I had where I have like the custom paintings if you guys want it. If not, get your you can get your own paintings off the gallery and do them cuz they're really fun to do <laughs> and work with. But we are, I'm trying to figure out a good color for the little hallway in the bathroom. I kept the same floor pattern, like uh, hardwood floor going throughout the whole house because I think it looks nice in my opinion. And I think it pulled like the hallway and everything together nicely. And I was going to put the... Uh, I don't know why I'm, the lighting is like that on there, but 
I was working pretty hard on this deck. I'm trying to figure out like how to make it look like it actually wrapped around. And then I finally decided, well, why not make this like a blue suburban house? Because blue suburbans I think look nice. Um but now we're working on the children's bathroom. And I was gonna add a bathtub in there, but figured against it because it's already so cluttered in there. Also, I think with that sink is it always like disappears and I've had to replace it like three times <laughs> and I don't know why, but it just would like anytime I would load it back up, it'd just be like, oh, sink's gone. And I was like, where's, where, where'd it go? Um, I am now working on the hallway upstairs. And by this point, I kind of give up on doing pretty lights. I just done whatever. <laughs> um, but I was showing my grandmother this house because I was like, you know what? I'm proud of this house. You know, I want to show it off. And my grandmother was like, there's no master bedroom. And I'm like, the one with twin beds, the master bedroom. And she's like, it's not big enough to be a master bedroom. And I was like, well, you know, it's, it's fine. It's Sims. It's fine. <laughs> I also decided to put two teen beds in there for probably the teenager or young adults that are gonna be living with their parents probably still and they have I love the carpets I put in the rooms I also decided to use that wallpaper to give like a statement be like oh they have a statement and here I'm adding the toddler beds in because I was like, oh, well, we need toddler beds because toddlers are a must in a family, usually, with the baby. Because you usually have a toddler after a baby. And those desks, I end up completely changing because they just didn't work at all. And I... I struggled a lot trying to find family photos because it just would not show any. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I should search a photo. No. And I was just like, okay, whatever. We're just gonna... This is also like hours after I done the last paintings and stuff. So I just decided to do like the family portraits and I only used one of the rooms with the family portraits which has the most and I might have overdone it with the family photos but my family like we have a lot of photos of us in our house so I was kind of basing it off of that I also end up turning the building around so that way I can actually see the family photos and like pick off them easier but like I said in my house we have a lot of family photos of like from when I was younger and now and anything so it I kind of based off of like if I had this house or if my grandmother had this house or whatever would she have all these photos? And I was like, yeah, she would have all these photos because she'd have the room for it and stuff. And I heavily inspired the teen's room off of what I would want my room to look like with posters all over the walls and weird painting schemes and stuff because I was like, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah, I inspired the teen slash young adult's room heavily off of what I would want my own like bedroom to look like if I had full creative liberty. I also realized I didn't add a mirror to the upstairs bathroom, I don't think. 
but that's okay. I I finally figured out a way to do the roofs and called it good at that. Uh, because I was like, well, you know, it'll look better when I actually roof it and don't have to go back and add and edit and stuff. But I think the next series I'm going to record is going to be the Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. I also had such a hard time deleting all the family photos and stuff. But I don't know why I paused randomly. Oh, I was putting cheeks in. But I was typing, I was trying to do landscaping, which that is really weird for me because I almost never do landscaping, but I figured I'd get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I also put a, put it, put fake, like, fire in the fireplace, or the chimney because it's like, oh, if you look down it, it's going to be like red or whatnot. I don't know. My brain, pro my thinking process was not the best. I also put big windows in the dining room to like even it out more in the front and I rearranged all the photos and to match up with the windows because I figured you need some windows in the upstairs hallway and but I am doing the uh like foliage outside because I I seen I see houses with this all the time and it looks so nice and I'm like oh I want to do that it also clipped through a little bit right there but that is perfectly fine because no one's gonna be paying that much attention <laughs> this was the hardest part for me was spray painting the like thing to make it look actually nice and I wanted to add a pool because, you know, children will want to have fun during the summertime and will want to annoy the parents with going swimming. So I was like, okay, well, we can do this and then, you know. <laughs> I also realized I didn't put a mailbox in until I added a sim to playtest it. I was going to put the grill off the porch, because you're not supposed to really have grills, but I decided against it. I also was going to fence in the backyard, so there would be no like peeping toms, but it's fine. But I also put sun tanning beds and stuff. For the teens and adults to like play on and I was gonna put towels for them to sunbathe on but decided against it I also decided against that uh, pond as I was going to make my own custom pond I was also gonna put gravel on the like where the swings were and decided against it because if you fell on gravel that hurt I was also trying to figure out what to put on this back porch. I couldn't figure out anything really so I just left it the way it is. <laughs> I was gonna put a garage but I didn't know if that was against the rules or not so I just done a little pond area and was like okay well I'll just make a custom pond because you know why not. And I honestly love the way it turned out. I love making ponds in The Sims 4. It's so relaxing. It's so fun. And I just space out while doing it. And it I don't think I could ever build on stream uh, like ponds or anything because I would just blank out and completely like become oblivious to the world. <laughs> kind of like how I when I do like when I draw. But I am looking through all of, I was looking for rocks and I couldn't find any so I just had to buy rocks. 
which is okay because you know but I was also debating on whether or not to make the pond like look like a pond or look like a clear body of water so it was like a clear body of water because the people actually take care of their pond but I also like I I just love making ponds in the Sims 4 it's so relaxing and just awesome because you get to add the rocks you get to add whichever way that you want and I was thinking about get adding the get famous pond like into that pond so you could add like sharks and stuff but decided against it because it didn't look right in my opinion and so I just added more like foliage around to and you'll see I get rid of these because they didn't look right um but I added beautiful like rose bushes I think outside the house and then finish off the with the side of the house I was gonna add jet ski for like storing purposes like oh they go to the beach during the like summer sometimes I was gonna add a tree decided against it because the tree didn't look good at all then I was gonna add, add a graveyard but then realized like oh this does not look good at all like who would want to eat outside like their barbecue and like have their relatives graves like right next to them or who would want to be ch a child playing on the playground and have their grandparents grave what or whatever right beside them like I was like uh no not nope <laughs> Uh, fun fact also, you cannot delete gravestones like that. You have to just undo them. I also realized after I finished recording that little green area around the pool was supposed to be like, uh, you know, like, oh, there's chlorine in the water, so they, you know. And it's gonna be a different color grass and I made sure to I put a nice mailbox that I like and I was this is me playtesting everything and making sure that it worked okay and I totally didn't uh, accidentally uh, delete all of the furniture and then freak out because I accidentally deleted all the furniture. But I, because I moved him out and I was like, oh shit. I just deleted all the furniture. But, you know, you make mistakes. And then I got a random sim that I just found on the street. That bed is functional, you just have to, like, click on the side that you want your sim to sleep on um but I found that out way later because I was like oh yeah you can use you know sims to yeah see the sink it just keeps disappearing don't know why but I had to go back and change the desks and stuff in the children's room and here you see me adding the description stuff, which it does not show the custom content thing anymore. It does in this, but it doesn't like in the actual gameplay, like now in the gallery. So you can have no custom, like no content, like, like custom content, whatnot, or you can have it or. But,
yeah i will see you guys in the next video i hope you all enjoyed this very scuffed stream stream recording uh that i just was talking off the top of my head um i also hope you enjoyed me having my little avatar in the corner as i narrate all of what was going on i'm hoping to do a lot more stuff like this so if you're excited for that hit that like button down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video peace and i love you all